The 106th edition of the Gent Six Days roared to life within the historic T. Kipke Velodrome. This iconic venue, nestled in the heart of Ghent, Belgium, has been the epicenter of track cycling for over a century. The velodrome, with its steeply banked wooden track, has witnessed countless moments of triumph and heartbreak, making it a hallowed ground for cyclists and fans alike. Anticipation crackled in the air. The energy was palpable as fans from all over the world gathered, waving flags and banners, their faces alight with excitement. The camaraderie among the spectators was evident as they shared stories of past races and speculated about the upcoming events. This legendary event, a staple since 1922, excluding wartime interruptions, promised a week of high-speed track cycling. Over the decades, the Gent Six Days has evolved, but its core essence remains unchanged. It is a celebration of the sport, a testament to the enduring spirit of competition and the love of cycling. Fans packed the stands, eager to witness cycling history unfold. The seats were filled to capacity, with spectators eagerly awaiting the start of the races. The atmosphere was electric, with cheers and chants echoing throughout the velodrome. The atmosphere buzzed with excitement. The sound of clapping and cheering created a symphony of support for the riders. Every corner of the velodrome was alive with the enthusiasm of the crowd, their collective energy driving the event forward. The distinctive scent of sweat and sawdust permeated the air, a familiar aroma for seasoned six-day race enthusiasts. This unique blend of smells is synonymous with the intensity and physicality of the sport, a reminder of the hard work and dedication required to compete at this level. The Gent Six Days is more than just a race. It is a grand spectacle, a celebration of endurance, skill, and strategy. The event brings together the best in the world, each rider pushing their limits, striving for glory. It's a spectacle, a celebration of endurance, skill, and strategy. The close pack racing, the strategic maneuvers, and the sheer speed of the cyclists create a thrilling experience for everyone involved. The fans, too, play a crucial role, their cheers providing the riders with the motivation to push harder. The demanding format tests even the most seasoned track cyclists. The six-day event is a grueling test of stamina and skill, with riders competing in multiple races each night. The physical and mental demands are immense, pushing the athletes to their limits. Teams of two riders compete in a grueling schedule of races. Each team must work together, strategizing and supporting each other through the highs and lows of the competition. The bond between teammates is crucial, as they rely on each other to navigate the challenges of the event. Points are awarded for sprints, laps gained, and victory in specific events like the elimination race. The scoring system adds an extra layer of strategy, with teams constantly calculating their moves to maximize their points and gain an advantage over their rivals. The team with the most points at the end of six days claims the coveted victory. The ultimate goal is to stand atop the podium, holding the trophy high, a symbol of their hard-fought triumph. The victory is not just a testament to their physical prowess, but also to their teamwork and strategic acumen. This year's event promised a thrilling contest. With a lineup of top-tier talent, the competition was expected to be fierce. Each rider brought their unique strengths and strategies, making for an unpredictable and exciting race. An impressive roster of international cycling stars lined up for the start. Riders from various countries, each with their own storied careers, came together to compete on this prestigious stage. The diversity of the field added to the excitement as fans cheered for their favorite athletes from around the world. Among them were former world champions, Olympic medalists, and rising stars, all ready to leave their mark on the legendary T. Kipke track. The mix of seasoned veterans and young talents created a dynamic and competitive atmosphere, with each rider eager to prove themselves, all ready to leave their mark on the legendary T. Kipke track. The determination on their faces was clear, each one focused on the task ahead. The preparation and dedication required to compete at this level were evident in every movement. The crowd erupted as the riders were presented, their cheers a testament to the excitement and anticipation that had been building. The introduction of the riders was a moment of celebration, a chance for the fans to show their support and for the riders to feel the energy of the crowd. The noise deafening as the lights dimmed, signaling the start of the first night of racing. The dimming lights marked the beginning of the competition, a signal that the wait was over and the action was about to begin. The riders took their positions, ready to give their all in the pursuit of victory. 
the stage was set for an unforgettable week of racing, filled with drama, excitement, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Belgian duo Lindsay de Wilder and Robbie Guise, considered among the pre-race favorites, wasted no time asserting their dominance. They rode with power and precision, accumulating points in the early races. Their teamwork was evident as they seamlessly switched lead positions. Anticipating each other's moves, they controlled the pace and dictated the flow of the race. De Wilder, known for his sprinting prowess, consistently placed in the top spots during intermediate sprints. Geese, a master tactician, expertly guided them through the pack, avoiding potential crashes and maintaining their position at the front. Their early lead sent a clear message to their rivals. De Wilder and Geese were a force to be reckoned with. The French-Belgian pairing of Fabio van den Bosche and Benjamin Thomas emerged as the main challengers to de Wilder and Gies. Van den Bosche, a former junior world champion on the track, brought his youthful exuberance and raw power to the team. Thomas, a seasoned professional with victories in road and track events, provided tactical experience and a cool head under pressure. The duo kept a watchful eye on the leading Belgians. They matched de Wilder and Gies's pace throughout the night. Their strategy was clear, stay within striking distance and seize any opportunity to gain points. The crowd roared with every close battle between the two teams. The tension was palpable as the night wore on. Section 4. The field takes shape. A look at the contenders. While the battle at the top raged, the rest of the field fought hard for every point. Each rider, each team, brought their unique strategies and strengths to the fore, making every lap a thrilling spectacle. The competition was fierce and the determination palpable. The Dutch duo of Ueri Havik and Vincent Hoppezak, known for their consistency and tactical awareness, were aiming for a podium finish. Their synergy on the track was evident as they maneuvered through the peloton with precision. Havik, with his sharp instincts, and Hoppezak, with his relentless drive, made a formidable pair. They rode intelligently, picking their moments to attack and conserve energy for the later stages of the competition. Their strategy was not just just about speed, but also about timing and endurance. They knew when to push hard and when to hold back, ensuring they had enough in the tank for the crucial final laps. Another pair to watch, Jules Hesters and Aaron Gate, brought a mix of speed and experience to the track. Hesters, with his explosive sprints, and Gate, with his tactical nous, complemented each other perfectly. Their combined skills made them a threat in every race they entered. Hesters, a talented Belgian sprinter, and Gate, a seasoned New Zealand track rider, aimed to capitalize on their strengths in the faster races. Hester's ability to accelerate quickly gave them an edge in short bursts, while Gates' experience helped them navigate the complexities of the longer races. The field, a mix of seasoned veterans and up-and-coming talents, guaranteed an exciting and unpredictable competition in the nights to come. Each rider brought their own story, their own journey, to the track. From the young prodigies looking to make a name for themselves to the experienced riders aiming to cement their legacy, the dynamic was electric, the anticipation was high and the crowd could feel the tension and excitement building with every race. The stage was set for a series of unforgettable performances where every pedal stroke could make the difference between victory and defeat. Section 5. A Night of Thrills, Points Races and Elimination Drama the first night featured a series of fast-paced points races, each offering crucial points towards the overall classification. The atmosphere crackled with anticipation as the starting gun fired for each event. Riders jostled for position, their legs churning as they fought for every sprint lap and every possible point. The elimination race, a fan favorite, brought a different kind of excitement. Held midway through the night, this dramatic event saw the last-placed rider eliminated every two laps. The tension was palpable as the peloton shrunk, the pace increasing with each elimination. Riders took risks, attacking and counter-attacking, desperate to avoid becoming the next to exit the track. Section 6. Voices from the Track Reactions and Expectations It's great to be back in Ghent, said a visibly pleased de Wilder after the race. The crowd here is absolutely incredible. We had a good start, but it's a long six days ahead. We need to stay focused and keep our legs fresh. Geese echoed his partner's sentiment. We rode well together tonight, he added. We know the competition is tough, but we are confident in our abilities. Vanden Basha, slightly breathless after a tough race, remained optimistic. 
We are very close, he stated. We just need to keep pushing and see what happens in the next few days. Section 7. The chase is on looking ahead to night 2. The excitement in the air was palpable as fans streamed into the velodrome, eager to witness the unfolding drama of the Gent Six Days. The anticipation was building and the atmosphere was electric. As the first night of racing concluded, De Vilder and Gies held a slim lead, their performance setting the tone for the competition. The scoreboard reflected their hard work, but the gap was narrow and the other teams were not far behind. With five nights of racing remaining, the competition was far from over. Each team knew that consistency and strategy would be key to maintaining their positions and climbing the ranks. The racers were already preparing for the next round, fine-tuning their bikes and discussing tactics with their coaches. Van den Bosche and Thomas were hot on their heels, ready to capitalize on any slip-up. Their determination was evident in their focused expressions and relentless training. They knew that every second counted, and they were prepared to give it their all. The Tikipki Velodrome, bathed in the glow of the track lights, stood ready to witness another night of exhilarating track cycling. The historic venue, with its steep banks and tight turns, promised to challenge even the most seasoned riders. The Gent Six Days was truly underway. The energy in the velodrome was infectious, with fans cheering loudly and waving flags. The racers lined up at the start, their faces a mix of concentration and anticipation. The stage was set for a thrilling week of racing. The banners fluttered in the breeze, and the crowd's excitement was palpable. Each team was ready to push their limits, 